The LA Times landing a bombshell interview in the wake of the college cheating scandal. Yeah, the USC athletic director has opened up tonight. Kickline Sarah Donchi is live at USC with those details, sir. This is really the first time we have heard from USC Athletic Director Lynn Swan since this scandal broke. And we do want to read you a little bit of what he said in that exclusive LA Times interview. It reads in part, quote, I think everybody was blindsided by this. The fact that it was a senior member of the staff and also our men's and women's head water polo coach. These are people that have been here a long time and people who had been here during difficult times and had seen bad and bad done and knew better. Everyone was completely shocked, caught off guard and taken by surprise. He went on to say we will work with the university to implement the best system moving forward when a list of names is being put forward the coach sees it the recruiter sees it the administrator sees it and others see it so we know these are real student athletes that we're trying to get and meanwhile tonight there are questions about whether actual athletes missed out on some big opportunities the scandal has shaken one of California's most prestigious universities to its core. And now investigators are left to figure out who the real victims are. One local sports writer who runs his own USC blog says a coach he spoke to has concerns about athletes who may have missed a slot because of the bribery scheme. I spoke to a USC coach about the college admission scandal and they went back and looked through their records and they said there's at least three athletes they think might have been denied admission by Donna Heinel because their spots were given to somebody else. He wouldn't name the coach, the sport the athletes play, and couldn't say how his source knew they were collateral because of the alleged scheme. Can we talk to you at oh, all no, just no, about no, the federal investigation? No, no. Still, the men in charge when these things happened aren't talking. Nothing at all? We found former USC Athletics Director Pat Hayden at his South Pasadena home today. He wouldn't comment on the federal investigation that ended with the arrest of USC coaches tied to the nationwide admissions scandal. According to the indictment, the coaches were paid bribes under Hayden's watch until he retired in 2016. Now, in this L.A. Times interview, Pat Swan was very careful not to uh, to blame his predecessor, uh, Pat Hayden, rather. He did not want to blame him. But at the same time, he said, Lynn Swan said, that this happened before his tenure. So in any case, he is not taking direct responsibility for what was allegedly going on behind closed doors here at USC. Reporting live at USC, Sarah Donchi, KCAL 9 News.